हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम दर्शना पटेल फ्रॉम बी पी एम बी पॉलिटेक्निक माई सब्जेक्ट इज कंप्यूटर एंड नेटवर्क सिक्योरिटी यूनिट नंबर फोर नेटवर्क सिक्योरिटी एंड टॉपिक नेम फायर वॉल द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस वीडियो इज टू अंडरस्टैंडिंग द फायर वॉल इन वेरी डिटेल विथ इट्स टाइप्स एंड लिमिटेशन इंट्रोडक्शन द टॉपिक्स टू बी कवर्ड इन दिस वीडियो Uh, they are the firewall concept firewall working principles and uh, design principles types of firewall and the uh, limitation of firewall firewall now first of all what is firewall so firewall is a device or a software features which is designed to control the flow of traffic into and uh, out of a network in general firewall are installed to prevent attack firewall can be either hardware or software in short it is a hardware or software based network security system uh, that controls incoming and outgoing network traffic based on some rules and uh, policies which is defined at the particular layer it provides following facilities these are the facilities features provided by the firewall first it block incoming network traffic it blocks outgoing network traffic it make internal resources available it allow connection to internal networks and uh, report on network traffic the figure itself represents the working principles of firewall the firewall is installed between the internal network like your lan of an organization and uh, rest of the internet wan is the largest wide area uh, large largest wide area network or form of internet ki to firewall is installed between the internal network and the uh, internet means internet and internet here it shows the uh, place of the firewall how it work as a guarded gate between the internal network to the rest of the internet and uh, the functions which is performed as shown by the firewall it blocks incoming packets as well as blocks outgoing packets between the internet and intranet it can filters unwanted unwanted protocols services it can hide the names and address of the uh internal systems now next types of firewall these are the various types of firewall packet filtering firewall circuit level gateway application level gateway and stateful multi layer inspection firewall now first packet filtering firewall or say packet filtering such kind of firewall filters the packet based on their source and destination ip addresses packet filtering firewall it works at the network layer of osi model or say ip layer of tcp ip model on the internet packet filtering is the process of passing the packet or blocking the packet at a network interface based on the source destination address ports or protocols means packet filtering firewall filters the packet based on the headers of the network layer protocols so it filters the packet based on the network layer functionality like source or destination address ports protocols at uh, network layer packet filtering is often a part of a firewall program for protecting a local network from unwanted intrusion the advantages of packet filtering firewall uh, the first advantage is is of the low cost uh, because it make only a use of the current network routers it's a working at network layer so net it is set up within the network routers for uh, packet filtering only it's a very simple in design 
the other advantage is it having the high speed less delay high speed because of only the fact that it only only filters the packet uh, not the content filtering or the payload filtering is not done in it so the speed is high with the less delay as only it do the packet filtering now the disadvantages of uh, packet filtering firewall is that it only works at the network layer it do not provide content filtering it only checks packet source and destination address if it is okay then so based on that rules uh, it forward such kind of packets otherwise it drops so it only do the packet filtering not the content level data filtering so it do not check any application vulnerabilities so it's a one of the drawback of a packet filtering firewall it do not provide the data filtering here the packet filtering is only based on the source and destination address now next second type of firewall circuit level gateway this type of firewalls work at the session layers of osi model or uh, tcp ip layer of tcp ip model such kind of uh, firewall it monitors tcp handshaking between the packets it determines whether the requested session is legal or not in short circuit level gateway is involved in the circuit establishment between the two end entities and uh, it monitors or checks the tcp handshaking between the source and the destination it applies security mechanism when the tcp or udp connection is established at that time it uh, checks the data and filter according to it but once the connection has been made then the packet can be flow between the host without any further checking means again the circuit level gateway also do not uh, also not doing the content filtering firewall traffic is clean based on particular session layer rules circuit level firewall hides the detail of the protected network from the external traffic means from the rest of the internet it protects the internal systems or private systems and also work as a proxy from the rest of the internet it is useful for hiding the information about its protected network now see the figure of circuit level gateway how the inside host means the host within the private network and uh, outside host means the internet user so how the connection establishment here shown ki how the circuit level gateway is involved at the session layer at the time of the connection establishment at the time of the session establishment and uh, it checks and the filters based on the connection establishment session establishment at the session layer it only involves during that after that it do not provide the content filtering now because this firewall do not check the information packet or its content the packet that has a right tcp handshaking but uh, if it contains the malware in the payload then could uh, then could possibly such kind of data or packet get through a circuit level gateway that, that is a one of the main uh, drawback of uh, circuit level gateway a circuit level gateway act as a proxy and has the same advantages as an application level gateway in the way of the hiding the internal host from the serving host but it includes less processing than the application level gateway as it, in, it doesn't involve in content filtering the disadvantages of circuit level gateway includes the absence of content filtering now in detail the advantages and disadvantages of circuit level gateway they are relatively inexpensive they are hiding the information about the protected network having the less processing overhead and the disadvantages as i told earlier that they do not filter the individual packets based on its uh, content or so it do not do the content filtering don't check the information packet 
or its content. Next, application level gateway or say the proxy firewall. Such kind of firewall is also known as the proxies or say proxy firewall. They are application specific. It works at the application layer of OSI and filters the packet at the application layer. It do traffic filtering based on the application rules. For each individual application, the rules are specified individually. So uh, they are dedicated to particular application and uh, they are the application specific. For example, they examine the packet at application layer like that they can filter application such as HTTP post and get method. Here the example of given for HTTP, hypertext transfer protocol. Now incoming and outgoing packet cannot access service for which there is a no proxy. Means for which uh, services uh, the proxy is set only that particular uh, uh, services are filtered by this firewall. It has full access to protocols. It use user request services from proxy, then uh, proxy validate the request are uh, legal or not, and then according to that action request and return result to the user. Now for that need a separate proxy for each kind of services. For example, at the application layer, the different kind of services are performed like for example, simple mail transfer protocol and its services are email services, file transfer protocol, the services are file transfer services, DNS, domain name system and services like remote login for the, the telnet. So for application level uh, way, proxy, uh, it required the separate pro proxies to be set for each kind of services. For example, if you want to set the email services, then for that the proxy uh, should be set up. Now here, this figure represents how the application level gateway is involved and how it acts as a proxy. Here the internal user of the network, uh, it contact to the application gateway using the HTTP or telnet. The application gateway asks the user about the remote host to which it wants to set up a connection. Then the application gateway asks for credential, that means ID and password to access the service on it. Then user provides ID and password. Then the application gateway can access the remote host and pass the packet of user to the remote host. In this way, application gateway, it acts as a proxy of the actual user and hide the information about the actual user to the outside host. The advantages of application level gateway, it provides a high level of security by providing the content filtering. The data filtering and the application vulnerability can be handled by application level gateway. But it complex in design having the disadvantages, more expensive than the packet filtering firewall, having the longer processing delay as it involved in the more wor uh, working, it also filtered the payload. So significant imp impact on network performance. The speed is little bit affected. More time required to establish the connectivity between the application gateway and the user as we seen in the previous slide. So it requires more time and uh, uh, little bit uh, longer processing delay and the performance is little bit reduced. Next, stateful multi-layer inspection firewall. This firewall combines the aspect of all other three types of firewall. They filter the packet at the network layer, determines whether the session packets are uh, legal and evaluate the content of packet at the application layer means it works at all about the three layers of OSI. This firewall maintains the table of all active TCP connections and UDP pseudo connection. So its name state full inspection firewall. It allows direct connection between client and host. It offers high level of security, good performance, transparency to the end user, and it maintains track of session and packet associated with it. Now the limitation of firewall, it cannot protect from attack bypassing it. It cannot protect against internal threat. They often cannot protect against an insider attack. It cannot protect against the transfer of virus infected programs or fire files. Firewall cannot protect a network or PC from viruses like Trojan form and viruses and spyware. 
which spread through flash drive thank you for listening